Hello my friends, Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. In this video, we will be working on replacing the existing seat post on my entry-level mountain bike with a brand shiny new dropper seat post from Pacific Northwest. If you're interested in checking out or maybe even purchasing some of the parts that I used in this bike upgrade, take a look at the kit that I put together just for this video series. You'll find a link in the description of this video. Thanks so much. Okay, my friends, Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. Thanks again for tuning into this video series where I take an entry-level mountain bike and I do a whole bunch of cool upgrades to it. This way you can see how those upgrades affect the bike. And then if you want to do some upgrades, you can decide which ones are right for you. As I mentioned before, we'll be taking the existing seat post off this mountain bike and we'll be installing a new one from Pacific Northwest. This one is actually, uh, it's pretty cool. It's their coast dropper seat post. So not only is it a, is it a traditional, you know, a dropper seat post, but when you put the air in this one, it also adjusts a level of, of, of like cush to the seat post. So I wouldn't call it a true like shock absorber type of thing, but it is designed to go down a little bit with some of the bumps to take off some of the, uh, the edges when you're riding the bike, which I think is gonna be an awesome addition to this hardtail. So I'm definitely psyched about giving this particular seat post a try. Something else specific about this seat post is it is external routing, okay? This frame, this frame does not have internal cable routing. So Pacific Northwest not only has multiple size diameter seat posts, which come in really handy if you have some different types of frames that you're trying to get a seat post on, but a lot of their seat posts come in both internal routing and external routing. External, external routing is what we'll be using this time around. Okay, so not only will we be installing this dropper seat post, but a good dropper seat post is also only as good as the lever that you use to actuate it. And in this case, we'll be using a Pacific Northwest Loam dropper seat post lever. I really only like a couple dropper seat post levers, and this is certainly one of those. So this is a pretty stylish one with the, with the cool red that's gonna match the frame. All right, so we'll put this whole thing together. Big shout out to Pacific Northwest for sending these parts for uh, for this bike build. I, I thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, the build, and, um, and also making quality products. So now before we actually do the install, I just wanna give you a quick update of where we're even at with this build and what's left. Okay, so we'll be doing the dropper seat post right now in this video. Then after that, we'll do a video on setting up all the controls, including installing these, these sweet uh, pedaling innovations uh, these red um, catalyst pedals, you guys know how much I love pedaling innovations. They're the only pedals I'll run, and there'll be a beautiful set of red ones on this bike. We'll also be installing a set of um, loam uh, grips. Okay, so these are Pacific Northwest grips, also provided by Pacific Northwest, also red, so they're going to look sweet. And then we'll also finally be doing a, um, a tire install. Uh, thanks to V tires, they sent over some tires to put on this bike. The current tires have tubes inside of them, or the wheels. The wheels have tubes inside of them. We'll be converting this bike from tube tires and you know wheels to tubeless, and we'll be using the V tires for that. And then finally, we're actually going to ride the thing. All right. So I just want to give you an update on where we're at. Okay. So we're getting close, and I appreciate you hanging in through all the videos. I really hope you're learning a lot. And all that being said, let's go install this dropper seat post now.
Okay, my friends, that's gonna take care of this install. It really is pretty easy to do. In fact, if you want a step-by-step -step show you every single process video on how to do this install, I'll give you a link to the one that Pacific Northwest made. It's a great video. Again, even that video, easy to follow. It's a simple install to install a dropper seat post on a mountain bike, especially with the instructions from Pacific Northwest. Big thanks to Pacific Northwest. Big thanks to you for tuning in and watching the video series. Remember, we've got just a few more videos coming up before we actually test drive this mountain bike, so I hope you stick around for that as well. Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Bike, and keep the party on the pedals, my friends. I always appreciate you watching these videos. It, it does really mean the world to me. Please leave some comments down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, I'll be happy to get back to you on those. And uh, that's going to do it. I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Bye-bye.